Welcome to Sandwiches of History. It is Christmas and I thought, you know what, let's make a Christmas sandwich. This one comes to us courtesy of the uh, Dixon Evening Telegraph of uh, Dixon, Illinois in 1974. We're going to be making the Christmas sandwich. First thing we have to do is to shredded cheddar cheese, add mayonnaise, equal parts, quarter cup specifically. Next we brown off some cube steak. That's usually a top round or top sirloin that's flattened and then tenderized by uh, usually either by hand or by machine. Then we put our steak onto a slice of bread and put our mayonnaise cheese mixture on top of it. And yes, this is all for one sandwich. Then into the broiler to get melty and bubbly. Okay, now that it's melted and a little bit brown on top, we uh, put a onion ring. And no, I don't think it meant fried onion ring. Slice of tomato and a ring of green bell pepper. And it says you can leave an open face to admire the uh, Christmas colors or top it with a piece of bread. Yeah, I'm topping it. Okay, let's give this Christmas sandwich a go. It's all right. I mean, the tomato and onion are nice. The green bell pepper's just kind of there. The cheesy mayonnaise is pretty okay. Um, I do think we can plus this up just a little bit. Now, since we're in San Diego and it has the Christmas colors, we're going to use a little pico de gallo. Okay, let's give this Christmas sandwich plus up a little pico de gallo. Go. Cilantro, lime juice, a little jalapeno. Mmm. Pico de gallo can be a little bit spicy, but this one's a little bit on the milder side. And it's just bringing a lot more interesting, bright flavors to this to kind of wake it up a little. <laughs> well, the original Christmas sandwich was a little bit of a disappointment. Um, it wasn't bad, it's just that it wasn't that interesting. The mayonnaise cheese was nice under the broiler. The cube steak was good. Tomato, onion, good. Green pepper I could do without. Um, plussed up with a little bit of uh, pico de gallo, suddenly got interesting. There's a little bit more freshness, a little bit more brightness to kind of counteract the, the beef and the, the mayonnaise and the cheese. Um, I'd say the original one, I'd probably give it about five and a half, maybe six. Plussed up with the pico de gallo, it's about a seven and a half. I'm definitely gonna finish it. I don't think I will make this again though. Uh, there's other steak sandwiches I'd rather have than this. So eh, what are you gonna do? It's worth trying. Uh, quick programming note, I'm gonna be taking off the uh, week between Christmas and New Year's. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna just take a week off and relax and maybe, uh, maybe uh, put together some highlight reels. No promises, but uh, maybe, maybe. All right, see you next year. Oh.